One of the things that's made the most difference to me during this diet has been the FODMAP app. Now there's actually two apps. Now I started by downloading uh, the Monash app right back at the beginning of this journey and I've kind of stuck with that just because I kind of like it and it's pretty good um, but there is actually another app that's come out since then by I think it's a company called FM which is apparently really really good and helps with the kind of reintroduction process as well so I just want to have a very quick quick look at those apps now so hi guys we're going to talk now about the FODMAP apps that are available and if I'm honest this is probably one of the most important things that I have ever bought there are two very good FODMAP apps available there's this one which we're looking at now which is the Monash FODMAP app so you know that this is going to be pretty accurate given that it's developed by the people that actually came up with the diet in the first place and this was the first one that was available and I actually uh, have lived my life by this one pretty much and I just wanted to run you through this quickly so you can see here I'm on iTunes and I'm just looking at the app page at the moment so here we have some screenshots I won't be able to take you into the app itself but this is a pretty good guide of what it looks like so you can see here that uh, every t food type pretty much has a traffic light system so there's an overall traffic light system where they tell you if it's generally green amber or red so green being good amber being okay and red probably being a problem for you so you can quickly look down food groups and you can t uh, type in searches there for different types of fruit fruit sorry food and you can see all of the different things that that are available to you then if we were to click into something like cherries for example that would take us onto this page which is a bit more detailed about that particular food and here you see the food that, and, and it broken down by the different FODMAPs. So we've got the oligosaccharides, fructose, polyols and lactose here. And what's really good about this app is that it tells you how that food will react with you, generally anyway. Obviously all tolerances are, are personal, but generally based on the portion sizes. So we can see here that cherries on a one serve, i.e. six cherries, is particularly bad in the fructose area but if you drop down to three just three cherries or half a serve fructose becomes amber and actually polyols disappears entirely on that portion size so that shows you just how important portion sizes are when it comes to FODMAP friendly foods they've also got some other nice little features so you've got recipes in here some ideas for things like well here's muesli so um, yeah the app is something that I find very very handy to just have in my pocket when I'm at the supermarket if I can't remember and you do get to know this foods very well but if you we can't remember or if there's something slightly unusual you can quickly whip out your phone tap it in and and see whether you're likely to have a problem with it or not so that's a particularly good app I, I'm a big fan of it and although it's 7.99 which is seems like a lot of money in the world of apps this is something you're going to probably rely on uh, regularly almost daily in the first few months so I would imagine that for most of you you, you could gen, uh, generally say that 7.99 is a very very good price for that so the other app that we're going to look at now is FODMAP by FM and this was developed by Food Maestro and it was in partnership with Guy and St Thomas NHS and King's College London and King's College London are the university that are aligned directly with the low FODMAP diet and the Monash University so this app was developed after I sort of started properly the FODMAP diet and therefore I only came about it at the very end of when I was sort of still involved in, in reintroductions and things like that but it's an amazing looking app I wish it was around at the time that I was doing it there is a 14 day free trial 399 annual subscription as you can see and I'll just take you through quickly some of the features here so this is the you can see here uh, the, the app and if we click through some of the things that it's got a quick food checker so you can scan barcodes with this app and actually if it's in there then it will find those foods and it will tell you things like you need to limit the proportion sizes um, whether it's suitable or not for FODMAP if we go through again it will help you with uh, restrictions as well so you can put in the restrictions that you want to uh, restrict in your diet and then it will also help you with the reintroductions and I think this is a particular 
particularly good part of the app so here you can see that the challenge in the reintroduction in this case is honey and you can see that uh, day one they have to have one teaspoon day two day three etc and you can tell them whether it's completed and whether you had any problems or not and then you can set the personalization so if you know that in this instance blackberry is a problem for you you can exclude it from your food filter search so very very clever app this and let's see what else we've got in here. So format for any foods. This is the, the search result area, a bit like the Monash app that I was talking about earlier on. And here you can see the symptom tracker. So if you have problems, you can see where your symptoms were and what it caused particularly. And you can keep lists of things that you would like to eat regularly and shopping list as well very handy for things like weekly and monthly as well um, and there's a quite a good idea there birthday parties so a couple of really really clever apps there guys uh, that you might want to check out so it's food maestro the fodmap app or fm and monash university's low fodmap diet app personally if i was doing this again i would probably be looking at food maestro first and if i felt that that didn't give me everything i needed i'd probably look at the monash one but because the monash one is developed by the people that came up with the diet you can you know that you're uh, you know onto a good thing with that so there are a couple of apps that you might want to check out